I was walking through a Walmart in the fall of 2019 and I saw this model kit. As I'm an avid Stephen King fan, I had to have it, so I placed it on my Christmas list. It has been over 50 years since I've done any type of scale modeling and this was just the project to get me started again. I searched the internet for images of 1958 Belvedere so I could select the paint colors. There are plenty of videos out there for model prep and painting, and I've watched most of them to figure out how to start this project. However, this video I wanted to focus on some of the specific details I did for the lighting and the electronics. For the lighting, I selected red and cool white 1.8 millimeter LEDs from Evans Designs. I wanted the cool white specifically to give that bright headlight look as shown on the box cover. I used the red LED for lighting of the interior and of course the brake lights. I was originally just going to drill out the tail lights and glue the LEDs in place. Then I was looking at the plastic pieces around the window and thought they would work great as a tail light lens. I used various size drill bits to carefully hand drill out the brake light section of the tail light pieces. I cut and sanded the edges of a few of the round plastic tabs from the window pieces. I checked for fit and then I glued them in place. My next task was to figure out the electronics. I wanted to have an erratic look to the headlight intensity to go along with a possessed car. I decided on using a 10-bit counter with each output using a different resistor value to drive the LED intensity level and get the look I was after. A 755 timer I see was selected to drive the clocking of the counter and set the desired pace of the transitions. I prototyped the design with a variety of resistor values I had available and experimented with their positions until I had the chaotic intensity I was looking for. Now that the circuit was complete, I added the sound. On eBay, I was able to find a number of 120 second digital recorders typically used for recordable greeting cards. I picked one that had a line level input so I can add my recording mix. I was also able to use this as my power source for the car lighting and control. With the light control design finalized, I had to assemble the circuit. I used a solderable breadboard and made the necessary component and wire connections as laid out in the schematic. I used wire loops on the top of the board so I could easily connect the LED lights after I mounted the board. I used hot glue to mount the board in the car trunk area and connected the lights. Thank you to Dr. Cranky for making a video on how to cut out plastic doors. I used the same technique to remove the trunk lid from the main body so I can access the light control in the future if needed. After some more soldering, hot glue, and shrink tubing, the light wiring is now in place. I was only able to place the light controller inside the car body, so I had to find a way to mount and hide the sound effects. I selected an elevated base stand that had enough clearance underneath to mount the sound device. I drilled a few holes where the speaker will mount and covered the surface with mirror paper. Some more soldering and hot glue, I now have the base assembled and ready for the car, thus completing this project. I've provided some still shots of the final assembly next. And now the esteemed placement on my bookshelf with the namesake book by Stephen King. As I mentioned, this was my first modeling project in a long time, and I'm glad to be back in the game. 
Well, it did take me over a year to complete this project, partly starting from scratch and building up my hobby tools and supplies, partly available time to work on it, and lots of trial and error, weighing heavily on the error side with multiple strip downs of the body paint. I enjoyed every minute of it along with what I learned from all the wonderful YouTube videos out there. I'd like to thank Chris Chapman, Dr. Cranky's Lab Rat Tory, and Barbados Rex since I've watched almost all of their content over the last year and it has given me insight to complete this creation. I thank all of you who put the effort into these videos.